It's no secret that people have been making bank selling face masks pretty much since the beginning of the year. Back in January and February, those people were like the early people, maybe even back in December of 2019, the people drop shipping masks from AliExpress. Then in the middle of March, I noticed that there was a lot of criticism around doing this. It started to be looked at as like immoral, but now in April and May, it seems like everyone and their grandmother are trying to sell masks <laughs> on their Facebook. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Meg. For those of you that don't know me already, I make videos about making money online as well as trying out different side hustles and I also like to vlog so if you're interested in that type of content, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video and if you'd like to see some more content from me, follow me on Instagram at TheMegRai as well. Today I have another tutorial. So I literally came up with the idea for this video like just a couple hours ago and I thought it'd be cool to do. If you guys can hear like any noises right now it's because my co-workers are down here with me they're being rather good but they're making a little bit of noise so if you are hearing like the sound of a dog chewing on a bone that is exactly what it is my co-workers are back at it again uh let me show you summer willie say hi in this video, I'm going to share with you guys what I've learned about creating my own designs on Photoshop, creating the products with my fulfillment service, Printful, and then listing them on Etsy. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional when it comes to e-commerce, online business, or specifically print on demand, which is what we're gonna talk about in this video. I am a total beginner um, and I have not made a single sale with print on demand. I'm just sharing what I've learned with you guys because I thought it'd be cool to document this process and just give you some creative ideas if you want to start creating and selling your own custom made face masks. For those of you guys that don't know what print on demand is, number one, where have you been? I've literally been talking about it for the past like month on my channel. Just kidding. Print on demand is an e-commerce business model that allows you to sell customized products that are printed only after an order has been placed on your store. This business model is extremely convenient, especially for beginners who don't have enough money to invest in any sort of inventory. I use a print on demand fulfillment service called Printful. However, there are different print on demand services that you can use. I'm going to be showing you guys how to create these products in Printful. I don't know if the other services have face masks, so I can't like show you guys that. Printful has a new product called the Neck Gator, which technically isn't a face mask. It's more like a face covering. There are a lot of listings for these neck gaiters on Etsy already. So if you've seen my recent videos um, and you've seen some of the designs that I've created around the whole quarantine situation, I'm going to be taking some of those designs and putting them onto these neck gator products and then listing them up on Etsy. Okay, so first things first to start this tutorial, I'm going to start screen recording on my computer and jump right into Photoshop. Photoshop is the software that I use to design my simple text-based designs and I literally only create designs like this. They're literally just text. I'm not a graphic designer and I don't have advanced Photoshop skills and you don't even have to use Photoshop if you don't have it on your computer or if you're intimidated by it like I used to be. Ever since I started getting into print on demand, I have gotten a lot more comfortable with Photoshop and I've learned a lot these past couple of months that I've been doing it. If you don't have Photoshop or you don't want to use it, there's a website called Canva. I believe it's free to use. I haven't used it in a while, but I did used to use it and you can create your designs there as well. Okay, so First things first, the document. So you're going to want to open a new document in Photoshop if that's what you're using, like me. You're going to make sure that it is 15 by 18 inches. So not pixels, it has to be inches. It has to be the width. I can't say that word, but the width, <laughs> you know. Anyways, that has to be 15 and the height has to be 18. Technically, that's the size for the t-shirts that I'm used to and it's been working so far for the neck gaiters that I've been creating. Make sure that the resolution is 144 pixels by inch and then you have to make sure that your color mode is CMYK color and then press create. Sorry if I go a little fast in this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions about anything. I just want to go through this kind of quickly because I do have a lot to cover. Okay, I literally, to start, I just 
just create a text layer and I'm just going to type out the word quarantine. Okay, and then I'm going to create another text layer and I'm gonna type out the word and. And then I'm gonna create a third text layer and I'm just going to type out the word chill. I'm gonna use this font called understory. By the way, if you guys don't know where to download fonts, I use the website dafont.com. Now that I have all of the text written out, I'm going to go ahead and delete the white background. So I like to add a little outline effect, which is called stroke in Photoshop. So yeah, that's easy. I covered this in my other video, so I'm not gonna go too much into it. And then I like to add the effect of the drop shadow. Okay, so I know that this came out a lot different than the shirt, but you're gonna see why in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and save this to make sure that you save it as a transparent background. You have to save it as a PNG file. Okay, so now that we have our design, I'm going to jump into my Printful account and show you guys how to actually create the neck gaiters that we're going to be listing on the Etsy shop. If you're interested in signing up for Printful, you can create your own face masks, you can create your own t-shirts, hoodies, basically anything. They have tons of different products that you can customize and put your own design on and if you want to you can try and sell them there will be a link to that in the description of this video this is what the printful dashboard looks like so if you come over here to the like little menu here you're going to click on product templates as you can see i have some other neck gator products once you're in your product templates you're going to go over here to where it says new template click that as you can see there's a ton of different categories so to find the face masks that is in the accessories category scroll all the way down to the bottom to where it says face masks and just click that. Due to the popularity and the demand of this product, the fulfillment is taking up to three weeks. So just keep that in mind. I like to include that little note in my Etsy descriptions. Anyways, click on the product. Here you can choose the color of like the stitching, which I, I like to go with white, but there's also, uh, you can also go with black and then click drop your design here. I already uploaded these designs. So I said to do this in the same size that I I designed my shirts. I don't know if that's exactly right. So whenever I do this, it does tell me to use a larger image. I don't really know why. So anyways, I found out that if I just shrink the image, it works. I like to shrink it down till it's about this size, which is 5.18 by 6.22. And then I like to make sure that my text is all the way at the top of this dotted line. This is the area that you can customize. So yeah, as you can see now, it says that the print quality is good instead of average like it said before so i like to click on mock-up view just to see how it's going to look i like the size of it i like how it looks there and i'm going to save this product template now i'm going to create the same product in a bunch of different colors and i'm just going to fast forward through that process And we're back and I have all of the product templates created. So now I'm going to show you guys my Etsy shop and the process of listing these neck gaiters on Etsy. I'm going to assume that you already have an Etsy account and I'm not going to show you guys the process of signing up for Etsy and I already have my account integrated with Printful. So I'm not gonna go through that process either. You're gonna come over here to your shop manager, come over to this little category menu and come to listings. Okay, so you're gonna click up here where it says add a listing. The first thing we're gonna do is add photos of our product. I'm gonna show you guys this free way to create product mockups with Printful because they actually have a mockup generator. If you come over to your Printful dashboard, come down to the bottom of the little menu here and it says mockup generator. Just like the product templates, they have this list of categories and to find the neck gator, you're gonna go to accessories and then at the bottom where it says face masks again. And it's basically the same process as you were doing when you created the product originally. So of course, for this example, I'm gonna show you guys the red neck gator. Okay, so you're gonna click choose file. I mean, it's pretty much the same process as when you created the product template and you're gonna wanna shrink the file down again. Then you can peep the mockup 
just to make sure that you like how it looks. When you're ready to get your mockups, you click generate files. So for this part, you're going to pick your mockup style, which you can see they have a bunch of different models here. I wouldn't want to use one where the person has it in their hair. And I like to change the mockup format to JPEG so that it doesn't take a long time to load my store. When you have all that set, click generate files. And then you're going to click download files. Your mockups are going to be saved to your downloads. You're going to repeat the process of creating mockups for every single color of the product. Quickly, I'm just going to finish creating mockups for the product in all of the other different colors. I'm back once again. Printful's mockup generator was messing me up today. It wasn't creating my mockups. It was just taking forever to load. It might have been because I was screen recording and doing like a bunch of different things on my computer at once. For now, I'm only going to be listing the three colors, the red Red one, black one, and white one, because those are the only mockups that I have. All right, so now I'm going to start this Etsy listing. Hopefully Etsy is okay with me screen recording while I'm doing this, and I'm just going to upload the photos. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just click add a photo. What I really like about Printful is that they do save all of your mock-up files to one folder and I want to make sure that I use the red one as like the first image. That's all the photos that I have for now. Just come down to title and I like to put neck gator for men and women. I'm going to put the name of the design which is quarantine and chill and then I like to add some more keywords like face mask, face covering, face protection. All right so that looks good. And then about this listing, who made it? I always select I did. What is it? A finished product. When did you make it? It's not yet made. It's made to order. That's the whole joy of print on demand. And then you have to enter the category of the product. So I'm going to type in mask. All of these other things are optional, so I'm not going to do that right now. Come down to where it says renewal options. I don't want this to be automatic. Etsy listings expire in four months. But anyways, I'm going to select manual just in case I don't want this listing to renew. And then type. It's not a digital product. It's a physical product that's self explanatory and then come down to the description. My Etsy description game is not that advanced. I basically just reiterate the title and I like to note that this is not medical grade protection equipment and like I said earlier I like to also note that there will be a delay in the shipping time due to the whole COVID situation. Like I said my descriptions aren't the best. I still have to do a lot of Etsy SEO research. However I do know that it's a good thing to put the same keywords in your description. I your title because that helps with the SEO rankings. Okay, so come down to production partners. If you haven't added Printful as your production partner, you're going to click add a new production partner. Yeah, I'm not really going to go too deep into that <laughs> in this video. I'm just going to select Printful. Last but not least, well actually not last, but we're almost done. I'm going to add some tags. In my tags, I'm just basically going to put the same thing that I put in the title and the description. So neck Gator, face mask, quarantine, quarantine, and chill. Okay, so after that, you can do your price. For some reason on Printful, the neck gaiters cost the same as the t-shirts, $12.95. And then when you account for the shipping, which I like to do my listings as free shipping, I have to list my neck gaiters around the same price as I would list a t-shirt, which is $25. Okay, so quantity, since we're doing print on demand, we have like an unlimited quantity, but I like to put $9.99. Okay, so variations. This is where we're going to add the color. And if we were doing pretty much any other clothing item, we would also do the size. And then I'm just going to add every color that I'm offering. Perfect. Okay, so click save and continue. Scroll down to shipping. And I like to enter custom shipping options. For the shipping prices, I select this option. I'll enter fixed prices manually. Shipping origin, US processing time. Unfortunately, I have to put two to three weeks. Fixed shipping prices, I offer free shipping. All the other stuff is optional, so I don't do that. And then we come to the end of this process and I just click publish. All right, so now the listing is live and we can look at it. Okay, so that's basically all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.